Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded hexagon fully inscribed uh, in a blue square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, yellow hexagon are uh, equal in length. And moreover, this side length of this uh, square is uh, 2. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, is going to be two units uh, as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded hexagon please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, six-sided uh, yellow hexagon and we know all uh, its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal uh, in length Let's assume this uh, segment uh, AE, its side length is uh, X, uh, then this is going to be X, uh, X, uh, X, X, uh, and X uh, across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, two units. And we know this uh, segment uh, AE is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, EB is going to be 2 minus uh, X. And we know this uh, segment EB is equal to this segment uh, BF. If this segment is 2 minus X, then this is going to be 2 minus X as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for X. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, x. And our other two legs are uh, 2 minus x uh, and 2 minus x as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 2 minus x uh, whole square uh, plus likewise 2 minus x uh, whole square is going to be equal to x uh, square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply these, this identity rather on these uh, two binomials. So therefore we are going to get 4 minus 4x uh, uh, plus uh, x square plus likewise 4 minus 4x four uh, plus uh, x square is going to be equal to x square. And now we can see this x square and this x square, they are gone. And if we combine the like terms on the left hand side, uh, we can see we get uh, x square minus uh, 8x uh, plus uh, 8 uh, is going to be equal to 0. And now we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it for x by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here we can see our coefficient for x square is 1, our b value is negative 8, and our c value is positive 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So we got x equal to minus, and then b value is negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b in our case is negative 8 square minus uh, 4 times a is 1, c is uh, 8, all over 2 times uh, a value is 1. And in this uh, next step, we know negative times negative 8 is going to give us positive 8. Negative 8 square is 64, and this 4 times 8 is 32. And then in the next uh, step, uh, we got uh, this uh, when we simplify square root of 32 turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2. And now we can write this one as x uh, equals to 8 uh, divided by 2 plus r uh, minus uh, 4 times square root of 2 divided by 2 as well. So therefore, uh, x is equal to, if we reduce this thing, that is going to give us 4 uh, plus or minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2. And now we are going to separate uh, the value of x uh, along these two signs. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to 4 plus uh, 2 times uh, 
square root of 2 and the other x value is going to be 4 minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, x equal to 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 value is not uh, possible since our this uh, x value is uh, less than 2 so therefore we are going to reject this value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 4 minus 2 times square root of 2 so thus our x value turns out to be 4 minus 2 times uh, square root of 2 and we are going to substitute uh, this x value over here to calculate uh, this side length of the triangle so therefore we have this uh, 2 minus x uh, so 2 and then minus uh, our x value is this one so I'm going to substitute that one 4 minus uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 2 over here so therefore this turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 minus uh, 2 so thus our these uh, side lengths of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 2 minus 2 and likewise uh, this side length is uh, same and now let's make an observation we can see this right triangle uh, EBF and this uh, right triangle uh, HDG they are both uh, identical so therefore uh, the area of the triangle EBF is going to be equal to the area of the other triangle uh, HDG as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, yellow hexagon uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, blue square minus uh, 2 times the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF since uh, triangle EBF area and triangle uh, HDG area are same so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square and likewise we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF as well and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of the blue square is uh, 2 so therefore this uh, blue square area is going to become 2 whole square and that is going to be equal to 4 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 and likewise uh, the height uh, is uh, 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 as well so therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF is going to be a half times uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 2 and then times uh, the height is uh, 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 as well and here we can see 1 divided by 2 and 2 they are gone so therefore uh, we can write down uh, 2 times uh, 2 square root minus uh, 2 and likewise uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 2 and now we are going to multiply these two factors uh, by double uh, distribution let's simplify furthermore so we got 2 times uh, if we combine uh, these uh, like terms we are going to get uh, 6 uh, minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore our this uh, triangle EBF area turns out to be 12 uh, minus uh, 8 uh, times uh, square root of 2 and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again we already figured out uh, our uh, blue square area as uh, 4 over here and likewise the triangle EBF area over here as well let's go ahead and fill in the blank so we got uh, 4 minus uh, 2 times uh, the area of this uh, triangle EBF is uh, 12 minus 8 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now we are going to distribute over here and if we simplify furthermore we are going to get uh, 16 times square root of 2 minus uh, 20 so thus the area of this uh, yellow hexagon turns out to be 16 times square root of 2 minus 20 square units 
and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.63 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.